beautiful babies? It's Michelle Visage. Welcome back to another episode of Whatcha Packin'. Joining me today is Rockham Sakura. Hey, Rockham. Hi. It's me, Human Sadness. It's you, Human Sadness. <laughs> I cried a lot on the show. You know, let's talk about that for a minute. Season 12 <sighs> is the season of whalers. You were the first one. So when you went home, we heard you wailing all the way down the parking lot. Just it was like, like, ah, like a church cry. It was a very, very emotional um, time for me for a lot of reasons. The whole time I was lip syncing, I was trying so hard to get Rue to look at me at least once. I mean, honestly, she was really just like transfixed on Britta the whole time. And so I pulled out everything, you know, I pulled out all the stops. I tried to lip sync my heart out. I've been trying to wrap my brain around why um, I was crying so much. And it, those are those are tears um, that I failed to cry before the show. Aww. And tears that I failed to cry um, while I was here. When you lip sync on the show, it feels like you're drowning and Rue only has one life jacket or the ability to save one person. Um, but in that moment too, it also kind of felt like I already know who, you know, who, who she's gonna save. You might've seen it on stage. I had a lot of moments where I was a little scared to go up against Britta mm -hmm. because everybody knows her name. Everybody on Reddit, everybody's like, I want Britta this season, Britta, 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 Britta. We want her to win. And um, I'm just like this kind of like podunk kid. No one knows my name and... Well, they do now. I mean, they do now because they want to be able to diagnose what they have in their psychosis. Let's talk about your time on Drag Race. Did, yes. you, did you have a good time? Right before I started lip syncing, I was like, just, I was like, just imagine your happy place. And I just imagined being back in the workroom with all the girls. That's your happy place? I have had the most fun and the most anxiety and sadness, but also the most fun in my entire life here on the show. Everybody here has been so fun, like working with everyone. The challenges were really fun. I love that we got to do an improv challenge. Yes. I'm sad I went home on a design challenge, but I love making stuff. Good. And like, honestly, I had the time of my life here. I mean, if, if I ever got to do it again, yes. if I ever got the opportunity, then I would have even more fun. And uh, that's all I would remember. Did you make some friends? I made so many friends. Who'd you get close with? Um, right now, I'm really close with Dahlia and Nikki. And um, I also got very close with Jan. Jan left me a big letter when I left. Aww. And she was like my hotel buddy. So I'd knock on the wall every now and then just to like, we'd be like, are you okay? And be like, yeah, I'm okay. People don't realize that you guys are sequestered and it's, it's a lonely thing, and you know, we do that. Yeah. So you guys can kind of think and prepare and be. Yeah. And of course, you know, the whole conversation really needs to take place on camera. Yeah. So we need you guys not to talk to each other because it changes relationships. Yeah. And then you kind of let it all go in the workroom and it's just magic. Yeah. I mean, I, I had fun doing everything. I do, I do regret a lot of things, like my verse. I regret doing a character because I feel like, in a sense, I was hiding. I feel like my whole my whole run, I was like, if I had just told them more of who I was, then I feel like I would be getting a better reception. That was the point. That was the point of that rap. And that's, you know, how I took it. I took it legit. Like, I, I want to read and hear a rap about you and who you are. You don't have to regret. Living in regret is not going to pay your bills. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it might. You, no, you are going to end up being fantastic. I'm not worried about you. You have, uh, you're chatty. You have a special something to you. I think that people are going to fall in love with you, rock them like depression. I did. <laughs> Shut up. Let's talk about your outfits here. Let's talk about this kind of churchy, sacred heart, sacre coeur, telltale heart number. Or am I reading it all wrong? This is like a kind of a ghosty black kind of bride outfit. Mm -hmm. I live in an old converted nunnery. I live in an artist commune. In the tender in Lower Heights, okay. we have 23 other people in my house. Okay. We have a chapel and we have a confessional. So I wanted to have something that kind of embodied where I live and my community. She has a backstory. What about this gorgeous? This, see, this to me is very rock up. I wish I got to show more of this. I like... didn't. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Go>. um, there... <laughs> so this is very much inspired by 
Harajuku, Decora, just a lot of small, intricate trinkets kind of mashed together. I like to think of it as controlled, fun chaos. Mm -hmm. In Japanese, kawaii means cute and mm -hmm. kawaii means scary. Mm -hmm. So I like to think of it as like scarily cute. <laughs> like it's so cute, it's disgusting. Right. I did the concept for this one and I wanted to do something really different for the finale. I knew that everyone was going to be super sparkly. Of course. Rhinestoned out and I wanted a, a way to kind of stand out. What about this beautiful kind of Cinderella number behind me? So this one over here is... Really uh, beautiful. Thank you. I was imagining a snow queen. I don't normally wear like super big gowns or... Uh, anything that's too big or cumbersome because I most of my performances are like super lip synky. Right. Like I'm gonna flip off the stage onto a bachelorette party and like kill <laughs> half the people. As long group. as they tip, that's fine. That's right. Yes. Don't, don't touch my hair. No. The front panel here actually has a tearaway moment. Ooh. So it's a full gown and then the front panel tears away. It has a sequin bodysuit type body of suit uh -huh. with rhinestones and the sleeves are actually designed so they have pockets. So when I walk, they puff out snow. Oh, no way. Yeah, they puff out snow. Gorgeous. Yeah, I really went all out with a lot of these concepts because I didn't grow up with a lot of money. And when I finally was able to, because I have been saving up for this day. Like, through drag. Through drag. Yes. Yeah, like drag full time. I have been saving up for this day, so I was like, when I got the call, I was like, I'm gonna let my imagination run free and do everything that I've always wanted to do. And you did it. Thank you. And the things that you didn't get to wear, the beauty is you'll now be performing everywhere. Exactly. So you'll have all these gorgeous moments, you'll have finale, you can do whatever you wanna do because the world is yours, Rockham. You need to stop those voices in your head. You are a beautiful person, you are a fun kid. And I want you to live like you are. Enjoy life. You're young. You're a, a gorgeous soul. So enjoy it. How do we want to find you on social media? At Rockham Sakura on Instagram, on Twitter. I'm going to have a YouTube page soon. Can't wait. I'm going to have a lot of stuff. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to green screen myself into every episode I'm not in, <laughs> including the first one. So don't you worry about that. Well, we will be excited to see that, sweetheart. And thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you out there taking over the world. Thank you. I promise I will. And I'll rule with a mighty fist. Thanks, Rockham. Mm, thank you. Mwah. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of What You Pack In. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Do you like that? Hey babies, do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race? Subscribe to the VH1 YouTube channel right now for everything RuPaul's Drag Race, including brand new episodes of What You Pack In.